<laughs> Bring it. Sit up, bro. What are you watching? It's a donkey trying to have sex with a phone box. It's pretty funny. Why would you watch that? Why wouldn't you watch that? I don't want to watch that. What are you doing standing around your jocks for? I'm working on my tan. You dickheads are gonna have to take dad's shift. He's hung over again, he couldn't be bothered. No, 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 we just come off a 17-hour shift. Yeah. We haven't even slept yet. Mum says you gotta do it. It's a PFYD. What's a PFYD? A problem for you dickheads. This is bullshit. No, it's human shit, mate. And it's how we pay the rent. So, I suggest you two butt monkeys get in that truck and start driving. See you losers later. <laughs> yeah, so your brother's kind of a duck, eh? Foster brother. <laughs> What are you doing, man? Come on. Get inside the cab, man. You're stupid. What are you doing? I'm looking for ghosts. I'm supposed to be able to see ghosts with this thing, but I can't see shit. Like dead people, ghosts? Yeah. It's like that game with those weird little monsters you have to collect. What? It's 
supposed to find them and catch them with your phone. Cool, man. What are you always playing on that thing for? What else am I supposed to do on a three-hour road trip? I have a bit of conversation with me. Verbal communication. The sharing of information via the mouth. You remember that? You. You want to share something with me via your mouth? Well, not when you say it like that, no. But the, the conversation part, yes. Okay, then. Let's have a conversation. Go ahead. Okay. Uh... Graphics on this thing are sick. Bro, check this out. You have got to be kidding me, man. I thought we hit a dog or something. What is wrong with you? Fucking the phone? So how do I catch this thing? Double tap to catch. Yeah. No. Did you see? Oh, shit. Dude. You all right? What happened? I don't know. I, did, there was, I just had a, a stabbing pain in the back of my neck. Could be a brain tumor. It's not a brain tumor. Could it's definitely be. not a brain tumor. Okay. Oh, dude, take it easy with the pills, man. Remember that time you got wasted and you took too many? Started yelling about space aliens and shit? Then you punched my auntie. That was one time. What the shit is that? Um, necropod. Ah, I read about these. They have them all over the place. They're like super-duper transmitter thingies or something. That's why the graphics are so sweet. Wait, that thing's a part of your shitty little phone game? That reminds me, there should be a wraith up there somewhere. <laughs> oh, dude, 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 dude. dude. <laughs> Check that shit out. That thing's freaking me out, man. Yeah, it's crazy, huh? Come on, let's get out of here. Ah. <laughs> Good afternoon, Mom. How are you? Ginsburg, you're not wearing your Santa hat. Much better. Now, necropods, update. Yeah, the necropods, yes. The new battery units you have supplied are being installed. After the launch of the game last week, we estimate the amount of devices that have uploaded the application to be... 1.3 million. anything goes wrong, I kill every single person in that room. <laughs> Start the engine. is going offline all over the city. Can't find anybody out there. They're either blocked or they're
they the dead. It's Finnegan. So she's finally made a move. Oh, man. Dude, there's freaking ghosts everywhere. Come on, pull over. Let me get my score up. No, I am not stopping this truck again so you can play freaking video games, man. Pull your head out of your ass. Get the head out of your ass. Get the head out of your ass. Oh, no. <laughs> Dude, what the fuck? What the hell is wrong with you? Dude, what's wrong with you? You've got all this weird, freaky shit going on, man. Oh, hey, you're not a ghost, are you, bro? Like, you would tell me if you're a ghost, right? Come back oh. and turn you into a ghost, you fucking cock. Knock up! I nearly crashed the truck, Rangy. What the fuck is wrong with you, man? You scared the shit out of me. What are you doing? What are you doing now? I'm just gonna try some. Rangy, listen, you have got to stop this shit, all right? off the charts who the hell is that oh it can't be it can't be possible oh, fuck. Dude, what the fuck happened to you what did you do to me i was just messing around on my phone and then fucking shit got mental bro what the hell what happened Tell me you're seeing this. Yeah, I'm seeing this, bro.
Old tech, huh? Certainly is. That thing's been inside him longer than you've been alive. Right. Put the new one in. Ah, no! Fuck! Dick! What the fuck did you just put into me? What the hell is going on? Huh? Who are you people? Well, my name's Luther. And these are my daughters. Torquil and Molly. Now, as to your previous question, it's called a scrambler. It's a new version. With that safely inserted in your head, hopefully they won't be able to find you. What? You got some pretty weird friends, bro. <laughs> ah, for so What'd you do that for? Take a seat. No, I don't want to take a seat. Please, sit down. Howard, you're a necromancer. You're a demon hunter, like us. Come again? You're one of the last surviving members of the most powerful bloodlines our kind has ever known. You know, back in the day, your mother and father... Wait a minute, Sylvia, hang on, wait a minute. So you know my parents, my actual parents? I knew your parents. Henry and Finnegan. Your mother, she came from one of the great European necromancer dynasties. Tremendously powerful family. And she could perform exorcisms with her bare hands. With your father, she killed thousands of demons. And they were the first ones to discover demon activity online. Evil bastards were all through the web like a virus, corrupting souls faster than ever. Then Henry and Finnegan devised a way to blast their souls inside the internet. That way we could track and exterminate the swine faster than ever. Finnegan spent too much time online. And the demons got to work. Corrupted it completely. She became a soul eater, feeding on her own people like a crack addict from hell. Each soul she ate brought her closer to immortality and ultimate power. She even went after you. But your father got there first. He scooped you up. He tried to hide you where she wouldn't find you, and by the time we caught up with him, he was dead. Murdered by wraiths. Well, we assumed you were dead too. What happened to my mother? She's still around. Your mother was the one that sent that axe maniac to chop your head off. She's been killing all the necromancers in the city. Taking their heads. Every single person we know. And your father made this. I believe Henry put this scrambler in you to keep you safe. But you came home today, Howard. You came home the very day that she comes out of hiding and kills every able-bodied necromancer in the city, except for us and you. You're here for a reason. What are you doing? I'm just updating my status. Tell me you don't have the game on this. Uh, I, I don't. You do? Yeah, well, I you do. Mother. I'm not... They're in the 
the building. We have to get out of here. Now! Not a chance. We have to move. Hi, Luther. Oh, Finnegan, long time no see. Where is he? <laughs> oh, he'll find you. Good. Hey, Luther. Merry Christmas. Hey! Get in. They were dead already, Howard. Come on. We gotta go. Hey! Get in the van. Howard, get in the van. Now! <laughs> so, I think I'm a ghost now. It's not too bad, actually. I can teleport into the shadows and stuff, and I can stretch my face like a mofo. Check this out. Yeah, pretty disgusting, huh? So I went for a cruise on before. There's like ghosts everywhere. But they're like retarded or something. But I'm different. I think that's because you did something to me. See, wherever I go, I keep getting pulled back here to you. Why is that? God. I don't know. You're okay, Mr. North. My dead friend just flew down off the ceiling and ripped his face off. No, I'm, I'm not okay. Are you seeing this? Hmm? Seeing what? Dude, can't see shit. I'm a freaking ghost. Hey, what the hell happened to all the hotnesses? This guy looks like someone slapped some hair on a penis. 
You didn't hear that? Hear what? The, the thing about the penis. I'll get the doctor. Watch this. What is that? This is a hallucination brought on by stress. I'm a hallucination now, am I? Yes, correct. Yes, you are. Can a hallucination do this? No, no! What? Now they're going to think I did that. Hey? Can you just please go and haunt somebody else? I'm not feeling very good. How do you think I'm feeling? I'm dead. And I've got to hang out with your boring ass. I didn't even have my phone. It's your goddamn phone that got us into this mess in the first place. What the fuck am I doing? I'm arguing with a figment of my imagination. Hey, who are you calling a figment? Uh... Something's coming. Howard North. Driver's license registered to Plumpton. That place is a dump. You tell me, are you sure you're my doctor? You're on antipsychotics. Crazy pills. How long have you been on those for? Since I was a kid. Why? I have a tendency to put people in hospitals. And uh, sometimes I uh, see shit that isn't there. Who said it isn't there? You look like your father. Sounds like you got my temperament. That's interesting. You've gone white as a ghost. How's your temperature? <laughs> and sucked out their souls, then abandoned me as a child and murdered my father, that mother? Well, I mean, sure, I did some of that shit, but that was a dark time for me. But I'll tell you one thing. I never, and I mean never, abandoned you. Did you send someone out to chop my head off with an ax? Okay, I copped that. But I had no idea that it was you at the time. What kind of a monster do you think I am? <laughs> Those aren't going to help you. How would you know? How the fuck would you know? You're a murdering psychopath. <laughs> You've been talking to the wrong people. Those necromancers are full of shit. Yeah, well, I think you're full of shit. Take my hand. Do it. Come on. <laughs> Do you feel that? That's more power than you've ever conceived in your small lifetime. And it's not even the tip of the iceberg. Howard, I am your mother, and I've missed you, and I love you very much. And what I'm offering is a lot more <laughs> oh. 
There is a scrambler unit in the back of your head. I want you to take that cable and plug it in. Then what happens? Then the pain goes away and everything becomes peaches and cream and fun. Is there a soul in that box? Don't be a pussy, Howard! Just plug in the fucking cable! You're either coming with us, or you're going with her. This is all actually happening, isn't it? Yep, this is actually happening. My mother just tried to force feed me a soul through a hole in the back of my head. Really? Well, I'm glad she didn't. If she did, we'd have to force feed a bullet through a hole in the front of your head. I'm seeing a lot of dead people right now. Don't worry. You get used to the freaky shit. Are we safe up here? Yeah, don't worry. It's a safe zone. We've got scramblers all over the place. Grace! What? No fucking way, where? Molly, where is it? It's, it's there! It's over there! Wait, wait, wait! wait, 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 wait. Oh, what whoa, the hell are you that doing? That is my friend! That's my friend! Look, oh. I come in peace, okay, so don't blast me. Great. You bring your phone this time, dickhead? No. Good. Well, well, well. Looks like Howard has made himself a wraith. I'm a wraith? I thought I was a ghost. What's the difference? You're like a ghost on steroids. What is that? That's why we're here. Come on. They're ghosts being sucked into necropods, and all that energy is pouring into the network, directly into the hands of you know who. Who? Your mother, Finnegan. Who do you think? Well, how am I supposed to know? Okay. Check this out. This is a map of the city. The necropods are forming a giant pentagram. A pentagram is a summoning symbol. <laughs> Shit. Sorry. It's kind of addictive. Come on, man. Okay. Put this on. All right, straight ahead. The foot of that building, about halfway up the wall. Do you see it? Ah, uh, necropod. Yeah. Look, we're gonna get that necropod, open it up, find out what's under the hood. Wanna come with? Um... Um, is not an answer. Just, just, just give me a minute. Okay, please. we don't have a minute, Hotshot. Just listen. No, you listen. You listen. I just found out that I am part of some weird little anti-satanic superhero club. And that my mother killed my father and a whole lot of other people and ate their fucking souls. And because of that, I've spent my entire life growing up in shitty foster homes thinking I was Oliver Twist, but apparently I'm Merlin the fucking magician. Demons are trying to kill me through phones with axes. Huh. Somebody tried to suck my soul directly through my face today, and now you're asking me to help you steal a thing off a wall that is guarded by arguably the scariest fucking thing I have ever seen in my entire life. Well, excuse me if I need a little time. Just give me a fucking minute. Ooh. Should give him a minute. Sure. I'll give you a minute. Why don't I give you the same minute it took for our father to die for your ass? 
Cool. Be cool. Running is not an option. Not for any of us. She's going to find us, and she's going to kill us. Howard, our dad said you were here for a reason. Give me one day. Let me train you. See what you got? Besides, you got anything better to do? Come on. Got their own back cave. This is a kill station. It's like a slaughterhouse for demons. Don't be scared, Howard. This is a safe zone. <laughs> Meet your new sparring partner. I saw you push a demon through a landline cable with your bare hands today, so I bet you pack a hell of a punch. Like hit it? Like, uh... No, not with your hands, Howard. <laughs> like that. You have to take this seriously. I, I just... I can't. I'm gonna, I'm gonna shit my pants. I'm gonna shit my pants. Let's try something smaller. Close your eyes. Just relax. Slow and steady. Do you feel that? Open your eyes. <laughs> Hit the bag. Get you another one. This is a necro portal. You push a demon spirit into this thing, then summon it up as a real life demon through that goopy liquid stuff. Like a 3D printer for demons, hmm? Something like that. And whatever you do, don't put a naked flame anywhere near that thing. Why? It goes boom. 
superhero battle armor. Freaking sick. These are anti-possession suits. Anytime you're inside a pentagram with an active demon, you must be wearing one. Or that thing is going to try and jump straight inside your head, and if it gets in too deep, then we're going to have to, you know, kill you. Great. There's a demon inside each one of these things. We call them trap boxes. We push the demon out of the human host and seal them inside. This one here is a nasty little fucker. So what you got to do is push the demon out of the trap box through those cables down into the portal. Then, when you see that thing light up like a Christmas tree, you summon it up. Just summon it up? Just like that, huh? Yeah. You'll know what to do. All right, okay. Trust me. Uh, and then what do we do? Then old Betsy takes care of the rest. Who's old Betsy? <laughs> This is old Betsy. Whenever you're ready. So I just push the uh, the the thing uh, down into the portal. Then it's uh, Christmas lights. Then. Then summon, right? That's right, stud. We'll take it from there. Ah, oh, fuck it! Oh, Jesus! Hey, breathe. Just relax. Let it happen. Hey, Lurch, get a crew ready. Okay, here's the plan. There's an electrical tunnel system below the city that leads directly to an isolated pod. We're gonna load up the plasma guns. Do I get a plasma gun? You're a wraith, douchebag. How are you gonna hold one? I don't know. I thought you guys have a ghost gun or something, you know. Where was I? Plasma guns. Right. We're gonna load them up. We're gonna make our way through the tunnels quick and smart. There's an access point about 15 meters from the necropod right there. Torkel goes out first, she takes out the wraith. Shouldn't I take out the wraith? You're not ready for that yet. I could lead it off on a goose chase while you guys do your thing. A goose chase? Hey, no one's doing any goose chasing. Torkel's gonna blast the wraith, and then right after that, I need you to detonate the thumper. Wait a minute. What's a thumper? An EMP bomb shuts down all the phones in the area. Means your darling mommy can't send any demons. It'll buy us some time. Cool. Then I go and get the pod. We both jump in the tunnels and we run like hell. Any questions? Yeah, what do I do? You do fuck all. Just try and stay out the way. But if you see any geese, chase them.
There it is. Right. Give me the thumper. Oh. That's armed. When this thing kicks, it freaking kicks. So be ready. Hold this. That's the detonator. Do not push that button until I give you the signal. Okay. Excuse me. <clears throat> uh, 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 what's, what, uh, what is the signal? You okay? I'm holding an EMP detonator in my hand. No, I'm not okay. All right. What, what do you want? Some reassurance? What I want is for you to look me in the face and tell me everything's going to be super sweet. That's what I want. That's what I would like. Everything's going to be sweet. Super sweet? Super sweet. Hey, lover boy. We only have one shot at this, so don't fuck it up. Okay. See you on the flip side. Don't miss, bitch. <laughs> <laughs> you heard the man. Don't fuck it up. Thank you. Oh, You had one job. I had that.
don't like you hanging around with these types of girls, Howard. They're inappropriate. I see you've got your own pet right now. Cute. I'm going to give you one last chance, and then it's no more Mrs. Nice Guy. Come on, Howard. Come on. Fuck you, Mum. Fuck you, Mum. It's the best I could do. Really good. Better? Mm, much better, actually. It's a... Uh, it's, it's a head. Who the hell is that? That's Uncle Dave. You know this guy? Yeah. Yeah, it's Uncle Dave. Why is his head in there? Turn it on. What, are you sure that's a... Turn it on. David, can you hear me? Molly. Is that you? Yes, 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 it's me. You fucking whore! Shit! Foul witch! Oh, God, I'm so sorry. Molly, they make me say these things. Think these things. Fuck you! Suck my dick, eat my shit! Oh, God damn it, I can't control myself. You know, he kind of reminds me of my uncle. David, why has Finnegan done this to you? Feeding us dead souls. Making us. Just making us. Eat them. Filling us with power. Unclean power. Us? Well, what do you mean, us? There's more of you. All of us. All of us. Are you saying every necropod has a necromancer head inside? Yes. Why would she do that? She's using us. Ass fuck. Fuck up. Using our combined power to summon a million human souls into the network. How? Through the game. What's she going to do with a million souls, Dave? <laughs> Feed on them. With that much power, she'll be able to possess the entire internet. Whoa. She'll have access to every fucking soul on Earth. How long have we got? Not long. Hurry. <sighs> Set me free, Molly. Set me free. Mm. <laughs> 
We need to get access to our security systems. What's the plan? I'm gonna jump myself in. I'm gonna jump inside the network. Pentagram 85% complete. Do you hear that, Luther? Our pentagram is nearly complete. Do you know what that means? It means we suck their souls. I'm going to be beautiful forever, and you'll just be a fucking head in a box. I thought Molly was jumping in. Hey, what are you doing? Bring me back. What the? She's inside the network. I'm gonna jump her back out. Wait, 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 wait. If she's already inside, then maybe we should give her a chance. Hey, Howie. We gotta get out of here, man.
It should be me lying there. That wouldn't do anybody any good. Could have stopped her. Jumped her out sooner. I pushed too hard. I fucked up. I... No, that's not fair. I practically forced you into it. This is on me. Now she's dead. Now they're all fucking dead. I had her. I was so close. But I panicked. Push your way as hard as I could. Because for a second there, I could taste her. Could taste her soul. And it tasted good. Oh, tasted good to you. No. No, 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 that's not what I meant. No, I, no, I, I didn't tell. My soul tasted good to you. Molly, please, that's not what I meant. And then her fucking head explodes. What? I don't know who the fuck you are, Howard North. Anybody ever tried this before? No. Not with human souls. How does it feel? Kind of funky. Did the upload complete? No. All the data was corrupted. 
Don't worry, I've memorized her entire system. Everything. All of it. It's all up here. Burn it. She's bringing me back from the dead, huh? Oh, you're welcome, Tokyo. Oh, fuck! Fuck! The good news is, I have a plan. There it is. Come on. I don't think you got it. Hey, how about this? I'll go nook us up at the mainframe, and you keep this fucking thing off our backs. Deal? Deal. Be careful. You think she'll make it? She has to.
He's killing them all. did it. She fucking blew herself up. You just have to push her out. Now, wait a minute. Push her out of what? Me. I trust you. Molly! No! No, no! No, Molly! Molly, no! Molly! 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 Molly. boy then do you have any idea how hard i worked to make all this happen and you and your little bitch whore just fucked it all up for me yes. <laughs> go ahead punch a hole in your girlfriend see if i can gonna need heaps and heaps and heaps of therapy after this. <sighs> Slow and steady. Yeah? the bitch out. Are you okay with what we're about to do? Why, well, the whole 3D printing of my mother and shooting her with a plasma-powered bazooka thing? Yeah, fine. I mean, 
when we bring her up out of there, she isn't going to look like your mother. Her soul's about as corrupted as you can get. It's going to be ugly.
You brought me back. <laughs> yeah, of course I did. Thanks. Don't mention it. Hmm. What I miss? Do I leave my car? It's over. 